Hi, I'm Rhonda Evans, the Assistant Chief Librarian of the Jean Blackwell Hudson Research and Reference Division at the Schomburg Center. And today, I'm really excited to share with you some of our new acquisitions. Some of the most vibrant and engaging items in the Research and Reference Division are independently published comic books by Black creators. Comic books, like jazz, are among the few truly American art forms. There is currently a renaissance of independently published comics by Black creators. Many of them visit the annual Black Comic Book Festival that is held at the Schomburg Center. These incredible comic books are the creative visions of young Black writers and feature the artwork of diverse pencilers, inkers, and colorists. It's Na Na, The Were Spider by Greg Anderson Elise brings to life folklore from across the African diaspora by telling the story of Isnana. Isnana is the son of Anansi, the trickster god of storytelling, who takes the form of a spider. After accidentally releasing a host of terrible evils into the world, Isnana must take responsibility for his mistakes. And with the guidance of his father, he learns to use his incredible powers to save humanity. Wash Day, written by Jamila Rouser and illustrated by Robin Smith, is a shift away from the superhero comic and provides the reader a glimpse into the life of 26-year-old Kimana. As the title describes, the story is centered around the special day that Kimana dedicates to the care for her beautiful, long, thick hair, but also gives an insight into her life as a young woman living in the Bronx. In Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer, David Crownson takes one of our heroes of black history and gives her superpowers. Crownson blends the true story of Harriet Tubman with supernatural action as she liberates enslaved people while fighting and killing demons, vampires, werewolves, and witches who try to stop her mission. I recently had the opportunity to sit down with David Crownson and talk about his work creating Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer, and also to show him some historical comics from the Schomburg Center's Research and Reference Division. What inspired you to create Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer? With storytelling, I like to find what makes characters quirky. And I was doing a lot of research and was struggling to figure out like the direction I was gonna go personality-wise. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a story where Harriet Tubman is leading a family to Canada. The father started to have a panic. He doesn't know he's having a panic attack. He just started to freak out loudly and there's dogs and people like chasing them. Mm -hmm. And Harriet Tubman just took a second and no one knows what she said, but she took a minute to like listen yeah. and give him counsel and also make him laugh. And so like, I'm like, oh, okay, that's who she is. All these terrible things are out here in the world, but it's about who are you in the face of it? Who are you going to become? And, who are you? and I'm like, that's a hero. Today, we were able to show you some yes. items. What did you think of these? Oh, I, I flipped out, y'all. <laughs> just, just seeing this and seeing that this existed, I had, I had no idea. So I, I'm, I'm excited to read it. And just the art's beautiful. This is a great place to do research because there's so much history and forms your own creativity. What came before me is inspirational just to kind of pass the torch and keep telling stories with uh, strong black leads. So thank you, Sean Center. Thank you, David.